In September 2024, Kitano Hospital Medical Research Institute in Osaka started the Phase 1 human trial of Torigem Biopharma's tooth regeneration drug on 30 men aged 30 to 64. This human trial ends in August 2025, almost after 11 months. What's the outcome, what they observed, and how this tooth regrowth Japanese technology will reshape our future? Today, we will focus on that. Also, the big question is, when the phase two of human trial is starting? Hi everyone, welcome to Medical Miracle. Imagine a world where losing a tooth doesn't mean dentures, implants, or bridges, but simply regrowing a new one naturally. Sounds like science fiction? Well, it's becoming reality, thanks to pioneering Japanese researchers. If you're tired of dental woes or just love cutting-edge biotech, stick around and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more updates. Let's start with the basics. This breakthrough comes from a team led by Dr. Katsu Takahashi at Kyoto University in collaboration with Torigen Biopharma, a Kyoto-based startup spun off from the university's research. The idea stems from studies on why humans don't regrow teeth like sharks or some animals do. Back in 2018, researchers identified a protein called USAG1 that acts as a break on tooth growth. USAG1 suppresses bone morphogenic proteins, or BMPs, which are key for tooth development. Torgem's TUG, TRG035, is an antibody that blocks USAG1 essentially releasing that break and allowing dormant tooth buds to activate and grow new teeth. It's been tested successfully in mice and ferrets, where animals regrew full teeth without side effects. The goal? To treat conditions like congenital anodontia, where people are born missing teeth, and eventually everyday tooth loss from decay or injury. Torgem aims for commercialization by 2030, potentially revolutionizing dentistry and making implants obsolete. Now, let's talk about the human trials. Phase 1, the all-important safety check, has been a success, paving the way for more advanced testing. Conducted under the Kitano Hospital Medical Research Institute in Osaka, with clinical testing at Kyoto University Hospital, Phase 1 kicked off in September-October 2024 and ran for about 11 months, wrapping up around August 2025. It involved 30 healthy men aged 30 to 64, each missing at least one permanent molar. Why molars? They're common loss sites, and the trial focused on adults to ensure safety before moving to kids. The drug was administered via IV injection, a simple drip method to deliver the anti-USAG1 antibody directly into the bloodstream. This allows it to target tooth buds systemically. While detailed results haven't been publicly released yet, as is common for ongoing trials, the success is evident from the company's progress. They've secured financing for the next steps, and no major safety issues have been reported. This means the drug appears safe for humans, with no unexpected side effects like uncontrolled growth elsewhere. Think about it. Participants might soon be flashing brand new teeth grown from their own biology. This phase was all about proving it's tolerable, and it did just that. With phase one complete, the team is gearing up for phase two, which could start as early as November 2025, right around the corner from August 31st, 2025. Phase 2 shifts focus from safety to efficacy. Does the drug actually regrow teeth in humans? It'll target children aged 2 to 7 with congenital anodontia, specifically those missing 6 or more teeth from birth. This group affects about 1 in 1,000 people, and kids are ideal because their tooth buds are still developing. Like phase one, it'll use IV injections, but now we'll measure outcomes like tooth emergence, structure, and functionality. Trials will likely run at Kyoto University Hospital building on the adult data. As of now, there's no public confirmation on exact enrollment or preliminary results. These things take time to announce, but assuming all goes smoothly, positive data could accelerate the path to phase three and approval. Challenges? Cost might be high initially, estimates suggest $10,000 per treatment, 
but that's expected for cutting-edge biotech. Plus, global interest could bring competition and lower prices. Despite speculation about delays from dental industries, the science is marching forward. Beyond the trials, this could transform lives. For the 10% of adults missing teeth or kids with genetic conditions, regrowing teeth means better chewing, speaking, and confidence without invasive surgery. Long-term, Torgem envisions expanding to all tooth loss causes, like accidents or decay. It might even prevent issues by activating extra buds early. But it's not without questions. Will it work on older adults? Are there risks of overgrowth? And accessibility, will insurance cover it? Globally, this puts Japan at the forefront of regenerative medicine, inspiring similar research worldwide. By 2030, we might see teething medicine in clinics ending the era of fake teeth. There you have it. Japan's tooth regrowth drug is no longer just a dream. Phase 1 succeeded, Phase 2 is on the horizon, and the future looks bright for smiles everywhere. What do you think? Would you try this treatment? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe for more science deep dives. Thanks for watching. See you next time.